I thought I'd make a quick video to help people with the dreaded transition element colours. So this one's for OCR A. I hope you like the video and if you do, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, why don't you subscribe? Okay, so let's get into it. So all I'm going to do is have the formula at the top and then give you a little bit of time to think about the colour and then I'll just show you the colour. So there's your first one. That's green slash purple. So there's two colours allowed for this one. It is actually purple in its pure form, but if there are any impurities present, it does look green. So the exam board will allow either of those colours for that. There's your next one. So that's green. There's your next one. That's purple. Next one. That's green. This one's yellow. This one's orange. That's the last of the chromium ones. Moving on to the manganese ones now. So this one's very pale pink. You could say colourless for that if you wanted to, but it is actually very pale pink. That's beige, or you could say light brown. I think some textbooks might even say pink for that one. So that's purple. And that's it for the manganese one. So moving on to iron now. So that's green. And that's green. That one's yellow. And this one's orangey brown. So the copper compounds are the last ones. So there's the first one. That's blue. Blue again. So this one's deep blue. So I definitely make the difference of the distinction between blue for the other two and deep blue for this one. And this is your last one. This one's yellow. 